on today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, Slide Loops and Countdowns. Hi and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you use um, software that we use in the church. Almost forgot that there for just a second. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. And I'd love for you to ask your questions because that's part of what drives this show. So just do that below the video. That's a great way to do it. If you'd like to head over to my site, trinitydigitalmedia.com, you can leave a comment below this video or any of the others there as well. So we're in the midst of a series talking about ProPresenter 6, and I thought that we'd just go through some of the fundamentals as we're visiting the features of ProPresenter 6 so that you can see just, first off, if you're new to ProPresenter, how to do some of these things. And if you're not new to ProPresenter, a refresher on some of the things that maybe you've taken for granted for a long, long time. So without further ado, let's head over to my computer. Okay, so here we are in ProPresenter 6, and let's start with countdowns. Now, you might think that countdowns would be in clocks, and let me show you. We have some countdowns here, but this isn't where you actually would uh, run it, it's just basically setting. So we can do an overrun, that's where it will continue to run past the time or uncheck that. A lot of people check it by mistake and forget where it is. You can do 24 hour time here instead of regular time. Uh, this button with reference to clocks means we're going to start over. Uh, clearing everything out and then the start button actually starts it. So if I click start, it shows how much time's left, but it doesn't actually show it. So we can start these all and I can change the time, I can, uh, the type rather, I can make it a countdown to a timer that's for I need, let's say, Let's say I need 60 minutes. So they say, you know, we're going to start in 60 minutes. Okay. Start it. So there we go. Now I'm going to close that out. Then we also have not just elapsed time. We also have countdown to a time. So let's say that you want to do 9 a.m., nine a m I always like to hit tab to get off of that to make sure it takes and then I reset that and then start. You can tell I'm recording late at night, so that works there and the other thing is elapsed time, so this might be good you know you you're curious um if your nine o'clock service starts, well, how long have you been going? So let's start this now, and there we go. So actually, I think this starts at nine minutes, and then anyway, uh, not 9 a.m., nine minutes. See, you learn something new every day. So I can also strip the leading zero off of all of those or none. It's not granular right here, but um, that's the first thing you want to do. This is mostly settings for these three timers. Now, what we're going to do is to show them, we're actually going to go to messages because ProPresenter thinks of this as a message. So chances are it's going to look like this when you first start it. That's kind of useful if you've already got it all set up, but what you're going to want to do is click on this guy and that will 
bring up the message text and you can type in whatever you want here and this is kind of a variable so we actually have some different tokens they call them here and they're variables that basically you can drag into this to make whatever you want so you can make a message will the parent of child message please come to the come to child care um, but in the case of countdowns we want to grab a countdown this is countdown one and I can do that as many times as I want click on that hit backspace it goes away so that's to set up how it looks then I've got a template I can apply uh, whatever template I'd like to that I can strip leading zeros on just this one and then what I can do is set the appropriate time clear that out and start it up okay so that's basically how you do uh, messages or countdowns except it won't actually show until you do this so show message is what actually shows it up on the screen now what we do is we actually have a uh, we have two different uh, counters and we have a count up counter and a, uh, a count down so this is a countdown saying when church is supposed to start but let me hide that and for the pastor we have another counter and that is an elapsed no it's not an elapsed time it's a countdown time so I can put in countdown number two change this to countdown to a timer and let's say that the pastor wants to preach for 40 minutes so I can do that hit tab and now when I start that you can see that it's here well I put that up on the stage display but not up here on the main display so the pastor can see how long he's been speaking and how much time he has left whereas people in the audience can't necessarily do it so that's a cool little trick now uh, I should say that you can have multiples of these at a time so I can uh, start this up show message and you'll notice show message I can either click hide down here or I can close this right up here to make it go away so that's pretty cool now let's talk about uh, slide loops uh, let's see if I have any uh, those are backgrounds and I've only got the one foreground so let's add some foregrounds shall we and let me think here doesn't really matter what I choose so let's go to downloads and I'm gonna select the oops wrong one wanted by kind so I want all the JPEGs together okay so let's say that I'm gonna pick these so I'm gonna click on one and shift click on the rest now this one is actually not mine so I'm gonna make that go away and then I'm gonna click that's one I need to work more on so I'm going to click on that so that should bring all these into the foreground bada bing bada boom ka chunk now let's create a new song in the playlist so I'm going to click in the lower left hand corner here you don't see that it's new document I'm clicking but that's what I am and I'm just going to leave all that as it is and then go to that okay now we have this new document now I want to add all these slides in 
so I'm just going to add them one at a time. Remember these are foregrounds, so that's good enough for now. Now what I'm going to do is command click on the first one, command shift click on the last one, right click, and go for the go to next timer. Go to next timer. There we go. Let's say I want that to be seven seconds. I'm going to click that and done and it puts a seven second timer on all these but that won't loop because what I need to do is on the right hand one uh, there's a couple of ways that I'm going to do this but I'm actually going to go to the uh, go to next timer and you'll see I can leave that duration as the same and loops to the beginning. Now I click done and when I start playing this the first one plays then the second one will play in just a couple of seconds. Okay, then this third one will play. These are all images from some of my previous shows. So that third one will play, then it will loop back to here. So that's how you would do um, a pre-service loop. Now we can combine that with the countdown clock and we've got something very useful. So church starts in three minutes, 40 seconds, and then once that's done, it'll be done. So that's some basic tips on how to create uh, looping slideshows and how to use countdowns and timers in ProPresenter 6. Well, I hope that was helpful to you. I hope that that refreshed your memory or taught you something that maybe you didn't know before. If you like this content, you'd probably enjoy my email newsletter. So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts. And there I've got some church tech gifts for you, including my top five pro presenter tricks. If you like the free stuff, You'll probably also like the stuff that I've created with you in mind to save you time and make you better at doing church tech. So just head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store. And there you can find all the resources I've created with you in mind. Things that I think, okay, back before I learned this, what would I want to know? And I created something for you. So I hope that uh, you'll find that useful at all. Until next time, go out and change eternity. This is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.